You could buy a spaceship! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh yeah, if you'd hear this sound, this is the fart noise. I got it set up with the turn signals. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the Tesla Model 3 Performance. And what this car is, is a MacBook with wheels. At my disposal of my right foot, I have 450 horsepower, 471 pound-feet of torque, and a zero to 60 of 3.1 seconds. All through an electric battery and one gear. So, $70,000 for a car. Well, that seems like a lot, doesn't it? But, it's not the point. You see, Elon knew $70,000 for a car is gonna be a lot of money. So what he did was instead of making a car for the present, he made a car for the future. So a car of the future means making life for the driver very simple. And it's simple because there's no buttons. All you get is a screen. And with the screen, you get the air conditioning controls. And then can you believe it? You can even control the direction of where the air goes. Not only that, but you can even control the mirrors through the screen. You can control the glove box. And not only that, but you can even control the steering wheel position. And a car of the future has to have some stupid gimmick like the whoopee cushion in this and make it seem as if people are actually farting in the car. Or maybe you're a guy who likes to travel space and be in Mars. Or maybe you're an artist in the making and you end up trying to make a stick figure. Not only that, but when you do engage the turn signals, you do have the cameras that pop up, which is a very nice feature. Not only is it a car of the future, but it's also a very family-friendly and practical kind of car. Yeah, space in the front for a case of beers, space in the front for mom and dad to argue, space in the back for the kids to fight, and more importantly, space in the back for the daughter's ex-boyfriend. But another thing about this car is that it handles really well for some, for some reason. It doesn't make sense. But there's barely any body roll, and especially when you're out on a track, you can take a corner at reasonable speed and get out the corner and just absolutely floor it and just have the confidence that this thing's just gonna stick. This car, I will admit, has a couple of annoying things about it. For one, the regenerative braking, it, you can't really turn it off. Even when you do turn it off, you still, you still feel it. You know, like when you release your foot off the gas pedal, you just feel that oomph of the car just trying to brake with you. Also, the main, main problem that I do have is that this car lacks soul. Here's what I'm on about. A car with a soul would be something that's meant to be driven, like this, a Ford Mustang, or even a Dodge Challenger Hellcat, or maybe the V10 Audi R8. These cars, they have passion and they bring excitement to drivers. It feels like you're driving inside of a robot because you technically are driving a robot. There's no heart, there's no, there's no oil, there's no, you know, spark plugs that you gotta change out. There's no, there's nothing human. There's nothing human about it. It's just functionality and making sure everything works all the time, you know? and. That's kind of the beauty of having a car because it has that kind of characteristic. It has that personality where it's either reliable or unreliable. Does that mean I don't like it? Not at all. For $70,000, this is definitely something that put a smile on my face. But nothing put a smile on my face more than this.
So that's what you get for a $70,000 Tesla.